Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I am back with another game. And this time, it's, hey, look, it's Lumpkin the Pumpkin. Except he's evil now. All that attention went to his head. Alright. Oh my god, a game that actually defaults with the subtitles on? I'm stunned. I'm shocked. I'm running around in circles screaming about angry hamsters. I'm amazed. Castle Wong. Trans... <coughs> wait, no. <coughs> Draxylvania. There we go. No copyrights to get us in trouble. I don't think you can copyright a country. Never mind, strike it. The Vampress of the Opera is there inside your mind. Woo! Bravo! Well, Frodrik, did you enjoy my singing? I'm sure it was very nice, but seeing as how I'm a bat and all, I wouldn't trust my opinion on opera. But if you knew the Draxylvania polka, then I'm your bat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just cannot tell if it was good or not. I thought I had text I were on. back at the Pelly Academy. Oh, I just wish I were back oh, well. at Pelly altogether. <laughs> How very odd. Hmm. Yuck. Eww. Hey, don't worry, babe. I'll get you out of here. I don't remember any. All we gotta do is stick to the P L A N. Capish? Thank you, Fodrick. Oh, you're so good to me. You've been pretty good to me, too. Besides, hanging out with you, I get a chance to torment Mr. Short, Bale, and Stupid. I don't like him. I heard that! Oh! Speak of the oh devil! Oh my god, he's teeny. Aren't you running a little late tonight, errand boy? I'm starving, Shaudi! I need my wine! Yes, yes, Mona, my love. Uh, I shall go off right away and begin hunting for the... Uh, looking for a wine shop in town. I know just the place. They have an excellent selection of the finest wines. Uh, all positive, <laughs> all negative, mm, my favorite. Yeah, I'm sure ten minutes from now will be an excellent vintage. Mm. Wine. Are you still here? Uh, who, me? Uh, no. Right. He creepy. All right, he's gone. Quick! Hey, uh, you know he's getting blood, right? You drink blood. Shh! Now is not the time to start that old argument. It's not blood, it's just... Well, uh... uh... A real thick and, uh, salty-tasting mellow with a little, uh, iron aftertaste? Is that what that is? Uh... Something like that, yeah. You yeah, know, she's apparently the living... Nile is not just a river in colonized British Egyptian Sudan. Yes, living in denial. She's pretty much convinced herself she's not a vampire. Out with it, damn you! You all saw I had the text set to on, but I'm not seeing Did any text. Did you see text. which one? Yeah, uh, the third one on the left, I think. Or was it the first one? You know, <laughs> I really didn't get a good look, but definitely on the left. The last one. Oh! Mad! At this rate, I am never going to get off this island! Patience, child. The stars have aligned and things are about to get interesting. What was that? What was what? Quickly! Up to my balcony! Why? What's going on? So who is that? <laughs> Bad CGI Blick Monster Blob. So Shroudy's an obnoxious little weasel. He's pretty good at the whole vampire shtick. Even though he's bloody tiny. Look at him, he's all teeny like a little... I don't know... Tiny vampire man. I'm bad at metaphors. Surprise! Ah. 
You gotta be pretty damn strong to puncture a wooden stake into someone's body. Deep enough to penetrate the heart. I shall never set you free. <coughs> don't, don't you know you are mine? <laughs> Forever! Whoa. So what, he gets to come back to the castle as a shroud ghost? I am free, Frogic! Free! I hear you, jeez. I got pretty big ears if you hadn't noticed. And you're not totally free. You still have to find the key to the boathouse. Till then, you're stuck here. Oh, right. Good point. That was very unusual. He said Mona? Who is this Mona, I wonder? Our work here is most decidedly not done. He clearly wasn't taken out. He turned into that weird ghostly shroud form thing and flew... Ooh, story time. Crimson Cow presents... Production of... A Vampire Story. Where there was once a little girl who liked pointing at birds. Apparently, just from class by singing. Because that was not a music class, because there are other students at desks there. She had odd choices in fashion, but did get to sing on stage. And occasionally would sing at individual people. And then was very sad to be on a train. And she sang too loud. And then there was a little creepo, creepo, whatever. that. Now we're more or less up to current. We're trapped. Oh, there's text. It's stuck. There's no way I can open this thing unless we find that key. So no text for cutscenes? This gargoyle looks too dumb to talk. Yeah, he probably has rocks that was the in talk his head. politely <laughs> option. It even said talk politely, and no, that wasn't politely. It's a stone gargoyle. This one looks uncomfortable. Like he's between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Little almost Wilma and Betty Flintstone, Wilma Flintstone slash Betty Rubble laugh there. Sitting on top of a gargoyle would make my cow care way too cold. Oh, so your poor I'm going cow to pass. Or whatever it was you said. I wasn't paying attention. Now, Mr. Gargoyle, would you please be so kind as to give me the key that Shadi has hidden inside of you? Pretty please, with sugar on top? Yes, well, anyway, Vampire's Tale. I like to. I like to play. I love games, I love adventure games, and it's been a while since I've played something with a female protagonist. And I figured, you know what, those need more representation. So I thought I'd jump into this one. Bear rug. Very living looking bear rug. It's a bear rug. Is it just me, or are its eyes following us? It's just you. I think those eyes are going all over the place. I'm sorry, but I don't speak bear. I better not. 
I might yeah, not it's be gonna able be one to of those games, away. folks. Sit in, sit, buckle up, sit down. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It looks like someone's family crest. No way! Too heavy. It's a rather nasty-looking gargoyle. Is it me, or is it he actually wearing a wig? Hello, Abzir! Huh. Why won't he talk to us? Because we're beneath him. So he looks down on us? He's stuck up. He's up on his high horse. Okay, okay. Don't run the joke into the ground. You just kept going, and then you just randomly decide that when she gets one more in, it's too far. You started it, Froderick. Frodrick Frankenstein. It's a rusty old sword. Ah, uh, that thing looks like it's in pretty bad shape. I bet it would fall apart if you tried to hit anything with it. Mine. It's so rusty. It will definitely shatter if I hit anything with it, but it may have other uses. This game has an I'll odd, but ultimately kind of pointless mechanic where if there's something that's too big or too unwieldy to take with you, it will have a ghost presence in your inventory. So it's basically you're like, yep, I know where that is and I can go get it if I need it. But the thing is, the thing that I think renders it more or less completely null and void is she's a vampire and can do the teleport poof poof thing that Shroudy did. So when you do decide to use it, she poofs off, grabs the item, poofs back and uses it. So basically, it's like having an inventory, but adding steps. It's a lovely collection of faces. Uh, Mona? Those aren't faces. What do you mean? You see the names on them? Edgar von Trapper Keeper, Ferris von Bueller, Klaus yes. von Kiefer. Faces generally don't have proper names or titles. Those are all of the Baroness's dead husbands. And all this time, I thought they were just designer purple e containers. She sure had a lot of unlucky husbands. Yeah, unlucky Mary that they Irvin met her. her too. Yes. It's a crystal spray bottle filled with my favorite perfume, Emixiation. By Cal yeah, Clevine. Rather slender, but you've got a little too many I ample grab this. deposits of bodily fat in certain places to really be considered emaciated, dear. It's my body lotion, oil of old age. The ingredients say made from 95% baby seal oil, clubbed early for maximum freshness. Yikes! That sounds a little harsh. What's the other 5% oh, made that's of? Awful. Ground up kittens. Oh. No, just joking. I use all-natural body lotion made from certified organic almond and sunflower oil, vegetable glycerin, certified organic infusions of nourishing and healing herbs, plus custom-blended aromatherapy grade dried fruit oil. Well, as long as the kittens are okay. I better take this. I might need it Leave the kittens time. alone. What it is about this mirror, Please, but me. I simply don't look like myself. You're pulling my wing, right? What do you mean? Sweetheart, it looks like Shroudy taped the picture over your mirror, probably because he didn't want you to see, or actually not see, your reflection. Apparently, he had some six-year-old kid draw the picture. Wait a minute. What does it say down in the corner? With love <laughs> from Shroudy. Scratch the six-year-old kid idea. I guess I'll have to add art to my list of things that Shroudy sucks at. Maybe I'll put it just below escaping vampire oh, hunters. Seem to have escaped <laughs> them up to this point, or unless there were just none whatsoever. It's Fodrick's gilded cage. Yeah, it seems I've spent my life behind bars. Up the river, doing some hard time. Hard time? What's so hard about living in the cozy cage with a steady diet of snacks? You love your cage, so stop trying to play the bad boy role. It doesn't suit you. There goes my street cred. What street cred? You're a house pet. They are bags of Fodrick snack food. A combination of dried fruits and oily nuts. Everything a growing bat needs. Sunflower seeds, almonds and peanuts, 
dried apricots and bananas, and a few leftover free-range grubs from the always important Yay. insect group. After we escape, we won't have time to stop and eat. So we better bring mine. these along. Mine, 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 mine. My fruit, my nuts. Although, seeing as how she's a vampire and doesn't eat, they're probably just going to keep Frederick, Frederick fed. Frederick Frankenstein. There's a bottle on the floor. It's my bed. Really? Because I thought your bed was down in the basement. You know, that pine box with dirt in the bottom that smells a bit like a corpse? Well, I like sleeping down there better because this room gets Every time way, the sun comes way up, too huh? bright. It's a vase full of dead roses. Stroudy used to bring me flowers every week, but they were always pretty much the same. Roses? Dead. I don't think there's any rules I've ever heard of about vampires not touching... I mean, not being able to give live roses. Is he just so horrible and foul that he withers roses just by being Shroudy? It's Shroudy's old toy box. There are some odd toys in there. Since Santa only supplies the castle with heaps of coal, the Baroness had to contract some toy outfit run by this creep who wears a red suit and calls himself Santa Claus. So wait, Claus. why would he put his childhood toy box in the room for his... This animal noise toy just girlfriend. might come in handy. That just makes no sense. If you're trying to impress someone, you don't show them your baby toys. Seriously. Shroudy sucks. I don't see anything I really want to carry around with dead. me. Well, he was already dead because he was a vampire, but you know what I mean. It's a hand-drawn picture. I think so it's supposed like to Maleficent. be Shroudy's mother. Picasso, he ain't. That's for sure. Alright, here's the battle clear. Not really anything much we can do out here except maybe shake off some of the snow, as I recall. Yes. Planter box, yes. We need that planter box to work. It's a snow-covered planter box. This is not just the take icon, it's basically the action. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, look at that. Beneath the snow are some flower bulbs. Even with the snow gone, I doubt they'll grow. That dirt looks like it hasn't well, been refreshed in years. I don't know what kind of plants years. they are. Maybe Froderick would know, but I'm not going to worry with it right now. I can't do anything with it. So I'm going to move on. About ready to call it for here. We've got the premise set up. Ooh, there's the bottle on the floor that I forgot to pick up. I even mentioned it, but forgot to grab it. It's a large bottle of perfume I used to refill my crystal spray bottle. Well then get it, lady. Get her done. I'm going to take this. So where is she carrying that little inventory coffin? Because it's way too big for her to... I'm not tired right now. Besides, I rather enjoy staying up late. Although sometimes it makes me so tired I All end up day, sleeping the entire day away. Gee, I wonder why. Could it have anything to do with being a vampire? Vampire schmampire. It's just yeah, a simple definitely test. Definitely wow. Anyway, I've enjoyed this, but please, I, I'm going to wrap it up for now. So if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, or subscribe. It would really help, but you don't have to. I'm not the boss of you. Bye-bye.